1340 Lucky Street. Neighborhood's a little older. Um, the street that I drove in on was mm, kind of a mixed bag. A lot of the front yards were kind of ignored. Um, lots of cars parked out front of, you know, various houses. This is the side yard. You have a massive front yard that's all cemented. So low maintenance. Um, <laughs> Looks like they got the drainage right. <laughs> it kind of downslopes a little bit over here. So I don't know what you do here. Have a big party tent. <laughs> um, interesting, they've got a air conditioning unit up there in that room, which would be odd because I'd expect it to have central air. I step up, um, there's a step there, and then you actually step down to the living room There's a uh, bed, a cot, where I would put a kitchen table. Just step down. Another angle from the living room. We'll check out the kitchen. There's a little hallway to the right of the kitchen that takes you to a bathroom. So here's the kitchen. It's very pretty. This would be brighter. Let me just see if I can adjust this. There we go. So you can actually see outside. They have bars on all the windows. I actually had to unlock to get out of the house. Covered patio, which is nice. Not a particularly private backyard, but you could raise these walls. They caged the pool equipment, which makes me wonder if that's an issue with things being stolen. Looking at the pool, it's all right. Um, I don't see any major pock marks. I did see some uh, wear on the stairs, but I don't think you need to get it replastered anytime soon. I think you've got you know, another five years at least. Big tall pal um, palm trees. Nice size patio. You've got plenty of space for tables, chairs, an umbrella, you know. Um, you can even put a couple chairs up here or lounges. Kind of interesting that you've got this rectangular hole in the ground that's wet. That uh, side door actually goes into a little half bathroom. So coming back into the house, we have a hallway closet. Um, another little, could be a pantry if you wanted it. Garage door. It also has a security gate. Pretty clean in here. And this is the little half bathroom with a door that leads to the backyard. So that's handy if you're coming in from the pool and you're wet and you don't want people to come through, you know, the kitchen area because it could be slippery. Okay, so let's go upstairs. I'm going to step up and kind of a dark wood painted floor. And then you've got this other flooring up top. Oh, you got lots of flooring up here. weird to me like it's I don't know warped somehow kind of the blades are bent another room got some linen cabinets I feel like somebody was a contractor who lived here and they practiced on this house <laughs> um, but it's nice you know I mean they definitely did some improvements. But lots of different floor in this house. 
Okay, so here we have the master bedroom. Whoa, I did not see that coming. So they extended their bathroom. Interesting, so here's the master. You have the love tub in the middle of your room. Um, you know, they did create this wall for some privacy, but um, I'm sure this bathroom was a lot smaller, which is how they managed to expand it. And then their toilet is over here in the corner. So from the opposite side of the room, there is a TV over the bathtub. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's check out the closet. Good size. Okay.